Hey creators, we're back again this week to talk about the advertiser friendly content guidelines. So this week we're going to be going through incendiary and demeaning as a guideline. So what is this actually talking about? Well, it's content that is gratuitously incendiary, inflammatory or demeaning and is not suitable for advertising. Now this is an interesting one because of the fact that this specific guideline isn't called out as a separate section within self-certification. The reason for that is, for simplicity's sake, we're combining the hateful guidelines with the incendiary and demeaning guidelines. So something that is allow ads, limited ads, or no ads across these two guidelines will be found within each one of those buckets under hateful content within self-certification. It's pretty complicated, so make sure you leave us any questions in the comments below and we'll address them. But as you look at the advertiser-friendly content guidelines page, you're gonna see that the layout is a little bit different. So instead of breaking it out under self-certification and through that framework, we're providing examples to give you some color. Now, the first thing that always comes to mind when I think about incendiary and demeaning as a guideline is diss tracks. They're a huge part of YouTube and they're not necessarily brand unsafe or unsuitable for advertising. It really depends on the context, tone, and who is the focus of the diss track itself or what is the focus. But the things to watch out for if you're trying to buy for that green icon and as much of that monetization revenue as possible are two separate areas. Content that focuses on shaming or insulting an individual or group. The second category is content that harasses, intimidates, or bullies an individual or group of individuals. Now, the line between, you know, bullying and harassment and just lighthearted mocking is always a difficult one, but it's really, really important that you focus on making sure that it's the lighthearted mocking if you want that green icon. Now, examples of stuff that's gonna be yellow icon would be content that singles out someone for abuse or harassment content that suggests a tragic event did not happen or that victims or their families are actors, uh, known as crisis actors, or that they've been complicit in a cover-up of the event in question. Lastly, uh, malicious personal attacks, slander, or defamation uh, are all things that are gonna get you that yellow icon. So as ever, we're on a quest to make this as transparent as we possibly can. So make sure you leave us some feedback in the comments below and we'll do our best to make it as clear as possible. I've been your host for today, Connor, and we'll see you on next week's News Flash.